He uh, stood nice. up and you sh you shot him again and he went down. You almost killed a man with stick and shock. So go ahead and hit the shoot button with the drone selected. I did. Do you want me to make the attack? Is that I mean I can do that? Oh, do you have it set to just roll? Hold on. Huh, strange. It should be telling me that you shot. So go ahead and make the sh uh, da the the actual roll. It's taking a minus three currently. And I, I guess you should know who I'm shooting at. Shot I'm, shot. Made. Yeah, I'm shooting yeah, at yeah. Uh, that guy. The uh, let's see, punk with mask and assault rifle three, because that's just the closest one to the uh, drone. A and narrow long burst or a wide long burst, Crimson? Narrow. That's what I clicked, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. John was remarking the fact that it wasn't showing to him, which is why he had needed to know. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was uh, uh, damage value uh, by plus five. I'll go ahead and say that he can make a what you call it because they are paying attention to what's going on. So how much damage do you do? Uh, six plus one plus what's the bonus for narrow? Uh, plus five eight, eight, damage value. Plus five, yeah. So you're currently doing eleven damage with stick and shock. So it does the same type of thing as what happened with Aaron exactly. And uh, it can actually take a second shot. It can't be a long uh, a long burst, but it can be a short burst, I believe. Right. Uh, all right. Well, then I guess it'll. Uh, that guy's still standing, right? Well, well, well knocked he down, but he's not uh, like unconscious. If he's knocked down, he'll go for. Uh, Punk uh, with mask and assault rifle six. So hit the shoot button and then roll the attack. I'm trying to roll for the punk. Okay, hold on. So it misses anyways. Right. Yeah. Next is Truthsayer. Free action, Truthsayer will drop the stealth sustained spell on Vice, meaning that he is now projecting his sounds, but he, well, it takes a free action to drop sustained spells. You don't want to do any of that. Yet. Um, I do have theoretical line of sight on the group, however, I will be incurring vision penalties for the purposes of there being low light. Uh, fuck. Huh. Alright, and I am still losing two dice due to the other sustained spell. Okay, uh, I guess I am going to throw down a force four stun ball anyway i'm going to go ahead and draw the area uh for it to cover um shit let me make sure i get this just right it's hard to draw with this thing there we go that would be a force four 
it's not it's it, it's a thing <laughs> it, it'll hit all of them it's yeah. an upper room all right uh force force stun ball uh what are my i know my minus two from the one sustained spell what other dice pool penalty modifiers am i incurring sean I don't believe anything other than the um, the vision penalties. Okay, it is currently a low light situation. Yeah. All right. Let me. And your check. glasses do not help you with uh, actually right, targeting yeah. the spell. I, I know. Uh, low light penalty minus two. Okie dokie. Yeah, I see that. All right. That's an additional minus two. I will spend a point of edge on this. This will also allow my stun ball to uh, exceed uh, normal values. I have four points of edge. I have minus four total from the low light and the one sustaining spell, so that cancels out. I'm rolling 11 dice straight up. And this force four stun ball has five net hits. This is resisted, resisted with willpower plus counterspelling if they have any. Let's see here. And my drain resistance test does actually uh, depend. Highest value. Okay. Uh, it's a force four stun ball normally, with each hit beyond the first adding one. So with its total of five hits thus far, it's eight S. Uh, everyone there is going to be taking seven S, except for Punk Girl with Mask One, who will take six S. As for me, uh, with that in mind, I have three net hits. Two is two, plus one is three, plus three is six. I am drain resisting six. I take four points of stun damage. I think Rottweiler three took the wrong kind of damage. Three uh, accidentally took some physical damage. <laughs> Poor doggy. <laughs> Uh, with that out of the way, I have consumed my free action and a complex action. I do not desire to move uh, at this time, so that will be the end of my turn. And they should pass. I hurt myself again. I have a pounding headache, man. You don't even know. <laughs> now we get to see how they react to suddenly being laced with machine gun fire. Ice is now hearable, but he does still have improved invisibility to cast upon him. So yeah, most there's... of them still can't see him. I'm also hoping that the in the chaos they're not going to be, you know, as perceptive. It's an idea. If they even if they can perceive him, they're still going to suffer the heavy penalty for not being able to visibly see their target. Which um, I forget exactly what dice pull penalty that is. I think it's like a minus six or minus eight or something. They might have a really hard time defending too. 
Yeah, I think it was minus six for absolute darkness. So it would, I kind of think it's the same thing. Over there, Sean? We can't hear you. I don't know if you're trying to talk. Nope. It's Rotodrone's, uh, the Rotodrone's turn. Uh, Rottweiler Shranch for Twitch. And, um, it's now the Rotodrone's turn. Um, so it has, uh, 100 speed. Uh, what's its acceleration? Do you know off the top of the head? It says it's 10 to 10 slash 25. It's, so it'll move at an 8 for now. Blind fire on page 150, which the blind fire modifier applies when the attacker attempts to hit a target that is completely obscured by cover, total darkness, or undetectable by sight, but whose location can be guessed or estimated. A minus six dice pull modifier uh, for any for anyone trying to attack Vice because they can't see him unless they did beat his improved invisibility threshold. And no one did. So everyone at targeting Vice will, if they can figure out where he is, which shouldn't be too difficult after he starts punching people, will target him at a minus six. If uh, the Roto Rune takes a complex action and does not fire, so I think it's just using an SMG, so it's going to be far out of range. Um, how, how much farther can it move if it does that? If it's yeah, or we'll can say it'll double it'll double speed. Nine. Yeah, that's where it'll end its turn then. Oh god, he's manning the gun. Fast and stay strong, everyone. We can do it. Believe in each other. <laughs> we're still we're still we're still on track for not taking any damage outside of drain. So the GM chariot, uh, go ahead and roll its uh, damage resistance, its armor plus body. Which is and like the four. drones continue to do their job, taking bullets meant for us. Right, so that's four. Last week, didn't we reason out that these little things get their own sort of like defense tests, like reaction plus blah blah blah? Yeah, or, it'll, uh, okay. hold on one second. It, it actually took a wide burst, so it canceled okay. out. So it, it now is straight up damage resistance test, because the GMG, GMC Chariot can't possibly dodge. Okay, got it. So that's six damage. Or actually knock that down to five damage. You should have one less hit on that roll. GMC Chariot, hold on to your dreams.
And go ahead and roll a dodge test with a minus two and then a damage resistance. For the chariot again. Okay. Yeah, for the chariot again. Action plus modifiers. Not sure how that calculates in drone speak. Was it like pilot or something? Its its r responses will be a defense test. Right. At a minus two, you said? Yeah. Yes, at a minus two. And it's a 6P standard, so it's doing a 8 physical damage before so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's down for the count. I think uh, I think Coyote is going to need every single bit of that uh, extra one hundred thousand. <laughs> well, he can. Uh, <laughs> well, he can uh, repair that. That's not. Uh, that's not totally destroyed. You don't have to replace everything like with the other drone. I, I have to look at the repair costs. So. It's just no longer functioning anymore. Right. Yeah. It's not in this fight any longer. Oh, I see what they're doing. That's right, run away, cow. That's right, run away from me, cowards. As they can't see you. <laughs> well, they're going to they're going to know I'm around in a minute. You mean in one second? Yeah, pretty much. This guy, this this guy over here is gonna have a bad day. And if he's dumb and has started has started up the hover truck, well, I might have a hover truck. Is that the roto drone? Yeah, those are at the roto drone. Oh, for F's sake! All right. You can't blame him, right? I mean, no, 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 no. I do yeah. the same thing. So another uh, response at a minus two, and then a uh, damage soap. Fun times. I love critical glitches. And so few dice. It's uh, it's not that hard to uh, to have a one pop up without a uh, a five or six in comparison. Oh, it's that most definitely. Girl, you made the wrong decision. All right, it's that one. Are you gonna say, uh, really, this has actually more body. <laughs> okay, it's five. That's cool. After these encounters, it might be uh, worthwhile to look into armoring up these guys. Yeah, they come with armor, but they might need extra. So it soaks uh, one. Okay, so now with Isis' turn. Say, say again. How much damage How does the Rotodrome take, Sean? Oh, uh... You soaked one damage, right? Um, so it'll take uh, six, seven, eight, nine? No, it's eight. Mm 
Yeah, it's Vice's turn. He can go ahead and do. Just making sure, is, uh, is she in the hover truck? Yeah, she jumped into it. So, yeah, Vice is going to get into the hover truck. I'm, he's not even trying to be stealthy anymore. He's just sort of... And then he's going to punch it. He's going to punch the woman. So, again, Vice is punching women. Vice has yet to punch anything other than women. This is not lethal. This is... In, in, fair, in fairness, you know, this is only the second person Vice has been able to punch in this game. Doesn't change the validity of my statement. So he punches with four hits. This is stun damage, but his elemental strike is active. So go ahead and, uh, well, it just resistance or soak. So what's your elemental again? Shock. It's shock, so it's halves, halves AP. Basically, it's stick and shock, except with a fist. That's her soak, so what's your damage total? Uh, it's eight, it's, would be eight stun plus four hits, so it'd be twelve stun minus three, nine stun. If I'm doing math correct. I assume you are, so that was complex action, and... You have free action left, but that's it. Well, I think I... Well, okay. With my free action, I can move 8 meters, correct? Yeah, or you can move run, up to yeah. 8 meters, or 7 now. And uh, she has... Oh, wait. she's doesn't matter if she's electrified. She's out. Yeah, she's out. Again, Vice stalked out a woman. I'm gonna put myself right there, still invisible, but not but not hiding my footsteps whatsoever. And uh, Twitch, the dogs are coming right for her. They may not see her, but they do smell her. Well, not gonna lie, Twitch is kind of scared of the dogs. So I think she's going to shoot two of them and then take off, well, running around the corner of the building. It's perfectly fair. If I were being pursued by three Rottweilers, <laughs> I might have an immediate reaction. So first I'll shoot the closest one. Hey, maybe I'll scare them off. That's one hit. I don't know if they can see me enough to uh, try to dodge it, or if they're smart enough to try to dodge it. I don't know, man. Rottweilers are pretty smart dogs. Well, they did sniff you out, and uh, I don't think your thing makes you completely invisible. It's it's uh, especially once you start moving, you. I don't think your thing holds up quite as well, right? No, it holds up fine to movement. It's just they take a minus four penalty to see me. Perception are are not inhibited. I'll go ahead at all. and give them the. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and give them uh, one dice worth of dodging. It's fair. I mean, dogs are instinctual animals. They can do things that, uh, just based on instinct that we humans can't. I'll take your word for it. Make sure to not apply their wound penalties to the dice roll, or else the system will tell you no, because they're suffering a minus two right now. Alright, so that first one's gone. Like, let's be real about it. He does have soak, though. It's fair. That's uh, six points of shock. Plus the electricity effect. So three points of shock. Or stun. And it's still gone. Oh. And then shooting the next closest one. Uh, 
and it's gone too. And then twitches. Can I move up to her full movement, or...? Uh, you can run for 8.3. And you almost kill a dog. What the fuck is wrong with you? I also almost killed a bunny man. As my free action, uh, in order to continue doing anything, uh... Fuck. I'll have to drop the improved invisibility. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I, uh, I uh, definitely uh, think I will. Uh, as a free action, uh, Trusayer drops the, the other sustained spell that he has to work to sustain, uh, revealing vice <laughs> to the public eye in front of Punk with Mask and Assault Rifle. <laughs> and as a complex action, uh, uh, Trusayer is uh, definitely feeling the headache there. But uh, he is going to uh, throw down another stun ball uh, maybe get some vengeance uh, for uh, for Coyote there, who uh, just lost a beloved vehicle. As he tosses it down, and draw this just right. There we go. A force four stun ball. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spend another point of edge on this one. Uh, let's see here. I'm suffering a. Minus two from low light, a minus one because of my wound modifiers, so it's a minus three. With a point of edge, I will have a plus one to my dice pool. I'll be rolling 12 dice. The rule of six will oh, automatically factors in the minus one. So uh, minus one is 10, then I'm at plus two, so 12 dice. Rule of six applies. Force four stun ball. <laughs> knock myself unconscious. I'm going down. Oh god. What have I done? Um, um that's four stun plus nine. Let's say, excuse me, eight from all the extra hits. That's twelve stun. Um, <laughs> the punk with mask and assault rifle five takes eleven stun. <laughs> the other two will take 12. Oh, Jesus, why'd I roll so high? <laughs> um, okay, um, it's gonna be... You can't actually voluntarily take your hits. I know, but... Oh, wait, I... no, you're supposed to be limited to the force, aren't you? No, I used a point of edge. Oh, yep, that breaks that yeah. rule, then. That, that's why I started crying. <laughs> I used to put my head. Shadowrun. A system that can make people cry because they did too well on magic. I know. So let's see. That's uh, 2 plus 1 plus 8. I'm resisting 11 step down. I think I'm going to use my final point of edge on the drain resistance test. <laughs> Uh, I think that's a worthy expenditure. On the, on the plus side, we do have a med kit back wherever we park the cars and stuff. Okay. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank you. Eleven minus six. I don't think med kits can be used for, uh... Five. Spell drain. Five, uh... I was just saying in case he got... He took so much uh, drain damage, they took physical damage. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm still on my feet, guys. It's okay. <laughs> but that really hurt my head. Uh, you're true Sayer, barely, but you yep. are on your feet. True Sayer just sort of like slumps against the cover and the debris he found after, you know, unleashing that very powerful stun bolt at ball. And he's going to have to hope everyone else can take care of shit without him because uh, he's just going to like walk <laughs> back here. <laughs> and he's done. He's so done in turn.
Okay, so now it's the Roto Drones initiative, and I don't think it's unconscious. No. Destroyed, Destroyed I, mean. I mean. It isn't. It's got, uh, it's 8 for 10, I think. Yes, that is correct. So I don't even know how far it can move. Sixteen. It's gonna try to uh uh can't wait, does that put it? I can't see. Yeah, that was behind everything. everything. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to get out of the... It's going to keep line of sight, but it's going to try to get to a place uh, 